Hi everybody, and welcome to this is Gamer Preach and welcome to the Gamer Preach channel. Uh, here playing some Madden 18. I'm trying to gonna do gonna do something a little different. Uh, I don't normally stream. I don't normally do anything, but I decided to record something because this year we found out that there's three bad teams in the history of the NFL that went one went 0 and 14. The Lions, not long ago, went 0-16, and, and now we have a new 0-16 team, which is the Cleveland Browns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the current roster, or not the current roster, but the roster, preseason roster, that was loaded on the Madden 18, and see if I can do better, which I probably will be able to do, at least get a win, uh, do better than what they actually did this year so we're going to go into the franchise mode and uh of course offline we're going to go into flash and we're going to start a new franchise and we're going to use the preseason roster and we're going to use the cleveland browns and uh So we're going to do this. I'm going to change the role. And we're going to have a new owner. We're going to get Haslam out because Haslam really hasn't done anything for the Browns. Just really has done no history to the franchise. Everybody wants to look at this Browns team uh, as, or this Browns franchise as starting in 1999. Um, and that's when first year of the current Browns team is but to understand that this Browns team keeps all the history from the Browns team that moved from Cleveland to Baltimore so they have all the records they have all the numbers all the history and this current owner does not live up to that history um, to understand that the Browns is not an original NFL team it's an original team from what was called the AA uh, FC, which is the All-American Football Conference. It won several championships with them, um, but they're going to get a new owner. And that owner is integral in that part. Uh, he's a former player. And a uh, former player here. And he's none other than the Hall of Fame quarterback. That led some glory to the Browns back in the day when were they when they were with the uh, when they were with the AAFC and that is Otto uh -oh. Otto Graham. So we'll put that in there. The Hall of Fame quarterback, Otto Graham, is the new owner of the Cleveland Browns. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go into our starting point and change the starting point and deal with the preseason so we're going to deal with the roster the 75 man roster from the preseason and we're going to start right now so what we're going to do now is that we're going to look at the team that we've got of course we've got Cody Kessler Deshaun Kaiser and Brock Eisweiler which gives us the C plus rating at the position of quarterback do not understand why we've got Brock Osweiler. It might be a time where we might need to get rid of him, trade him, whatever. Um, what is his contract? Um, let's look at his contract right now. Just had a... Just 
don't sometimes folks get enamored with just one hit wonders so he's got three years remaining on his contract it's five fifty four million dollar contract uh sixteen point six million dollar cap hit and a total bonus of seventeen million dollars so he's got three years remaining on the contract this year sixteen point six million next year sixteen point six million and uh 2019 is a 21.2 million dollar contract he's an overall 76 uh his intangible is 76 size 98 his durability is 95 which means he's pretty strong but he can't really do what i want um let's go back and see what he actually is um because he should be a pocket passer no, he's a strong arm quarterback. And he's got medium accuracy. He has no deep accuracy, no awareness. Cannot really throw on the run. Not good at uh, play action, about average. Everything about him is average, which is something that's not going to work, especially for somebody that is um, 26 years old and five years experience. He's from Arizona State. So let's look. Let's just Deshaun Kaiser. He should be. He's a balanced quarterback, which means he's he needs to be worked on. So, and he is practice squad eligible, but we might not work with him as practice squad eligible. Um, and his contract is what? He's got four years remaining, totally silent. So he's pretty good. Got that rookie contract. It's three point two two million dollars and one point. 17 million dollar cap hit which a bonus is a 1.72.72 million dollars in total bonus so he is getting that so he's overall 77 physical 91 intangible 76 size 98 and durability 93 he's pretty strong pretty resilient doesn't have much of a tangible he's still average right now but he is a rookie so gonna look at some other stuff with him um, yeah he's a balanced quarterback he is like low C D and types of awareness deep accuracy 76 medium accuracy 78 short accuracy 81 throw power 95 throw on the run 83 play action 78 I mean 79 speed 78 so his skills he could throw on a run. He's good at, you know, he's going to be low, high C, low B in terms of play action. Uh, low C, uh, high C, low B in terms of speed. Acceleration is a B. You know, agility is a B. Throw power is pretty good. That's kind of like in the A range right there. He can't really carry the ball. He's not really strong because it's still C. Carrying is a low C, D. Uh, strength is a low D. Uh, high, uh, excuse me, high D, low C, uh, awareness is definitely a D. Um, he's got QB style, sense of pressure, uh, force and passes, tight spiral, penalty tendency. So he's gonna pick up some stuff. Not really elusive, really can't truck that stiff arm. He's got a good juke move, average spin move, and the jumping. So, what we're going to be doing is looking at him, and the starting quarterback is Cody Kessler which is is his first year experience it's, he's come from uh university of Sal southern california he's not that good either he's still middle of the road c type quarterback and the reason why i'm going through this in terms of the quarterbacks is because the quarterback position is something that haslam has always and the browns organization seems to always try to do they they tried it with tim couch of course we know the mistake they made with um um with Johnny Football, they made some other mistakes. They brought in RG3, did not quite work out. They Brady Quinn, all this. And that quarterback position hasn't really worked out for them. So one of the things they need to, we would need to probably do is work on trying to get a quarterback. And we've got relatively young quarterbacks, except for the fourth, third string, which is Osweiler, who we're not really going to keep. That is a serious issue. So we're going to look at his skills, uh, Cody Kessler, and everything seems to be about a C uh high c uh low b you know can throw on a run play action speed acceleration that's that that's high c low d you know uh agility 
that's a D. Uh, Carrying D, strength is a D. Stamina, that's an A. Awareness, you know, that's a C. Deep accuracy is a C. He can throw away the ball. He's got a sense of pressure. He forces passes. That's a problem. He's got a tight spiral. He's a predictable player. And he has also has a penalty ten tendency. But that won't happen from somebody that is new in uh, the league. It doesn't have that much experience. It's good for injury. He's tough. He's not elusive. He can't truck. No stiff arm. No juke move. No spin move. So what basically he is, he is a pocket passer, right? No, he's a West Coast quarterback. So he's really not going to be able to uh, run that fast. Uh, but also his development is also uh, normal. I have to believe all of them are normal. Let's see, Kaiser, is he normal? He's normal. Osweiler, is he normal? He's slow. Um, then we have uh, the running back position, which is uh, Isaiah Crowell. And he's a one-cut halfback from Alabama State. There you go. Let's root for the H <laughs> HBCUs there. Uh, 24, three years in the league. And he's pretty good. He's got normal development. But he is he is 87. So he's like a B quarterback. Uh, B running back, I'm sorry. He's 19th overall ranked in the league. Uh, put him at 7% of the quarterback uh, halfbacks. So he will fight for yards, cover the ball, penalty tendency. But, you know, he's not as tough. He can't really pass block. Run block and pass block is not really going to work for him. So we're going to have to work at quarterback who might need to be mobile because if Correll is in there and it's a passing down, he's not going to be able to really block and look out for the quarterback's back. So uh, he's not going to be able to watch the, the quarterback's back. Can't really do spectacular catch. Not good release. Not good at kick return. He is really failing. He can't, doesn't route run well. He really can't catch. And he doesn't have that strength that you really need. But he'll be good at running the ball. And that's what we really want him to do. His backup is uh, Johnson, Duke Johnson out of Miami. And he's got good speed. He's another one cut halfback. Good acceleration, good ball carrying, good ball vision. Can't really truck, good stiff arm, spin move, juke move, all that good stuff. Um, but his catching's a little better, so he might be a third down back. Uh, he's got 70 in strength. He will fight for yards. He was what? He will be what? Cover the ball. He's a predictable player. He's got a penalty, a penalty tendency. But is he going to be able to catch in traffic? Doesn't really say that. He can't catch in traffic. Doesn't really make spectacular catch. He can't really pass block. Can't really run block. He doesn't have any impact blocking. So he's pretty good. And we've got uh, McGee. Another one cut halfback. Second year from LSU. And he's really failing. So we're going to might. Mm, he's not practice squad eligible because he might get cut. Because we can't really deal with anything with somebody that's 67. And Atkinson. Uh, the third, he's another D running back from Notre Dame. Yeah, don't know what he's going to do. Three years experience. I don't see him developing much. Um, and then we, um, in our fullback position, we're going to have to improve that because he's another D, um, low D, high C, um, Fullback can't really run block, can't really pass block. That's D material right there. It's got agility, acceleration, strength, trucking, all that good stuff. But uh, other stuff, he's C catching, D root running, F awareness, all that. 75. I'm grading these things on the scale that you would use in school. Uh, that helps me think a little bit better. 63 is not that good in terms of blast block. 67 not that good as parts and run block. And you need somebody big if you want to run that eye. And if you want to run that 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 with the two men in the back, two backs in the backfield, you want your fullback to be that lead blocker to plow the field. 
get up field, open it up. But he's good with injury, stamina, toughness. Those are good stats. That's A. Those are A and B stats right there. But C catching, D root running, F awareness. C we're going to have to really do this. Um, and that's the reason why this position is a D. So, um, and he's a balanced fullback. See, we're going to have to either go with somebody that's running, uh, either a running fullback or a blocking fullback. This D is not really going to work out. What is the great thing on our offense here is that we've got McCants, Zeltler, Stradier, uh, Batonio, Betonio, I'm messing up that name. And, of course, the superstar, Joe Thomas, who is actually the highest rated person, uh, player on the team. This is the offensive line. And if you're able to get that offensive line, they should be able to get that blocks and be able to open up holes for the running back. And if you can get the running started, then you can open it up for what? Open it up for the polite play action pass. Uh, uh, Ninjoku is... Um, to tie it in, he's 82. That means he's B. He's got speed catching. He really can't run block. Uh, makes this spectacular catch. Um, so we're going to have him out there. He he can truck some folks. He can, he's got some good strength uh, as a C. He's got good jumping at a A. He's got agility in terms of a low high C, low B. He's stiff arm. He's good with that, but. There's some other things. He's good at injury. B. Stamina. B. Toughness. C plus. B minus. Jumping. A. Elusiveness. C. You know, juke move. Low C. Spin move. Low C. Ball carrier vision is a, a high C. So, um, aggressive catch. Um, he's able to catch in traffic. So, we need that. So, we need that. So let's look at our defense. What is our defense looking like? So we run the 4-3. So we've got um, B plus on the right end. B is the, 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 for one defensive tackle. B for a second, uh, the other defensive tackle. C plus. And we might have to improve that. We're going to have to improve these things. Because... The highest rated uh, left end is rated a C. And it's just out of Oklahoma State. Emmanuel uh, Ogba. Um, but it's one year experience. So can't really block shit. He's got some power moves. He's got some finesse moves. Finesse moves are rated as a C. He's got speed. He's got that speed off that end. He needs to work on the play recognition because what he is at a D. He's at a D. You know, but hopefully, you know, he can get improved. Uh, he'll improve when he develops the XP. Um, good tackling, agility, stamina, pursuit, hit power. He can bull rush. He can strip the ball, but he can penalty all penalty tendency seems to be that he can go what he'll jump off sides a lot not watch the ball but jump off sides so we've got this and uh then we have our we got the left outside linebacker positions rated a minus which is pretty good you know we got collins who is rated as a b 88 you know he's a balance he's from southern mississippi Four years in the league, he can do some stuff. He's got quick development, so we can work on the finesse moves. We can work on some other things. Finesse moves, we can work on man coverage. We can work on strength. He's good at zone. I don't think I'll be sending him on zone. There'll be some other things I'll probably work on. A in injury. A in stamina. You know, C in toughness. D in catching. It doesn't really matter. He's got an A in jumping. So he's pretty good. He's 11th. Number 11th ranked left side linebacker in the league based on his overall rating. Putting him at the top 6%. So we've got some stuff to work with. So if this is the roster that is going on, um, we got Joe Hayden. We got McCourty with, at our number one 
cornerback position. That's rated as a B. Our cornerbacks are rated as a B. We've got Drabil Peppers, a rookie. Is he going to house his rating? He's normal. But guess what? He's a he's a C. He's a C. He's about to get to a high C. But he has to be developed. You know, zone coverage. Mm, he can tackle. Pursuit. Play recognition has to be worked on. That is something that can be worked through experience. You know, block shedding, awareness. He can't really deal with the press. But he can really deal with the man coverage because that's a D. And coming off that strong safety position. He's got a high motor. He's a big hitter. You know, he's 22%. Top 22% of the strong safeties in the league. So we're going to be working with this stuff. We're going to have to improve the right outside linebacker because he's only rate the starter is only rated as a 70 uh middle linebacker we've got some backup there top one is rated 85 curtsy curtsy 85 that's a c plus there's some a lot of stuff we need to work and our specialist of course we got parky that's a c a punter cold quit he's been around but he's 32 so we're gonna have to probably be looking at some Doing some sh other stuff. And we're going to change this. Put Johnson as the third down back. Peppers is the punt returner. Alfred is the kick returner. Long snapper. We got that together. A, all that. So what we're going to do is going to look at uh, my owner. Look at our team value. And overall, we're 31 in the league. Our fans are not happy. Our success, of course, is not there. Popularity is 26. Staff, 24. Stadium, 23. Don't understand that one. Concession, everybody should be at a one because we haven't started the league yet. And look at our stadium. Our stadium is... First Energy Stadium is 18 years old. Um, folks are really not liking the stadium. You can only upgrade the stadium if your stadium is big enough to allow it and if your stadium rating is low enough. Otherwise, you can choose to rebuild or relocate. We're not relocating. We're staying in Cleveland. Uh, parking is at a three. Team store is at a two. Fan zone 30 is a three level, but the rating is 38. So... We're looking at all this good stuff here. Uh, we might need to improve the stadium. You can't upgrade our stadium fans, so to look into re uh, renovating it ASAP. Might want to do that. But the thing is, we need to have some wins. Um, we're going to renovate the parking lot. We don't need to renovate the parking lot. Uh, we don't need to renovate the, the stands. What we need to do is... Looking into upgrading the stadium, and we're saying the fan zone is a level three and can't renovate yet. So, the bathrooms are 50. So, there's some things that we need to, to work on. And one of the things that we need to work on is have some success. Because if we do not have any success, we won't get any money to do anything like that. So let's look at our staff. Uh, right now, I'm going to keep Hugh Jackson's for a minute. Um, see what he does this year. Uh, fat happiness is bad. So we, he's at a level three. Our scouts at level one. And our trainer for 30K is bad. So we probably need to fire the trainer. Um, why do we have a, a kid coach as bad as this one? Well, it's because it's not necessarily the coach. We got a new owner. We're going to give him a chance. We're going to give him one year chance. If he doesn't work out, he's gone this year. He's gone after this year. If we don't get some wins. If we don't see any progress, we're about to, he's gone. Period. Um, How are you going to say that the 
His regression is bad. That is not good. And uh, so what we're going to do, our team's value is taking a hit from the, uh, our head coach's experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to fire him. We're going to fire him because I do not like any regression. Regression is bad. It means we're going to get injuries. We're not going to be tough. We can't tough it out because we need a trainer because this year is going to be tough. This year is going to be rough. And if we don't have the right trainer, um, we'll never make the progress we need. So we're going to fire him. Do you want to fire a staff member? Yes, we do. All right. Now let's see what we can do. Let's look at available staff. Regression, world class. He wants a hundred. He wants a hundred k. He wants ninety k. His regression is world class. World class. Let's see. Oh, we just got rid of him. So we're going to look at that. So we've got a person that's level 25, wanting nine, 90K, level 25. And then we have one that's 28 that wants 90K. I want world class. So here's what I'm going to do. Since we've got one that's level 25, wants 90K for three years in world class regression, we're going to go to Glukowski. Glukowski, sorry. Pay, a little, pay the same much we would pay the same amount we would give for a 25 uh, level um, trainer. Pay the same amount, get one that's level 28. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to give him what he asked for. And we're going to submit that offer. And we've got a new person. There we go. So we got a new. We got a new, when can we start? You got three years, 90K. Here's your thing. Keep us healthy. That's what I'm looking for. So we got that. Now let's get ready to plan our next attack. And right now I'm going to go and work on the weekly training schedule. And I will be back. Oh. Let's see, listen, before I do that, let's see what we can do and improve. Here's what it is. Our big need is quarterback. Everybody wants the outside linebacker. Should we go for Colin Kaepernick? I would do that. But Colin Kaepernick is actually rated lower than the starters that we have. So is Jacoby Brissett. And everybody wants to train. Should we bring RG3 back? No, because he is what? 73. So I think the only thing we can do is probably trade. Do I want Teddy Bridgewater? I don't know. Because they're looking for a right side, uh, right outside linebacker. Is there some way that we can do something here? He's a balanced quarterback. And let's look at uh, Garoppolo. He's better, but how much better is he? How much better is he, you know? And first of all, you probably see what his contract is. Yep. Uh, so let's see what his, uh, he forces passes too. It's not good. It's another West Coast quarterback. So let's look at the contract. 
and see what we can do. Oh, he's cheap. He's got one year remaining on the contract. I could cut some weight here. Let's see. Maybe I should go for Jimmy Garoppolo. Or can I go for what? AJ McLaren? He's 75. He's 76. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's not right. It's not matching up. Uh-oh. He's 79. Whoa. So, here's the thing. I'm not going to be interested in Teddy Bridgewater. Because I don't think I can get much for him. Coming off. It's been a while since he's played. No. Yeah. And they want. I think I can deal better with. Uh, they want. Everybody wants a, my outside. Uh, left outside linebacker. Desire contract over one year. So I'm probably going to have to do something. Let's see. Who can I give away? It is called doing the business. So they want a right outside linebacker. Maybe I might need to look at something here. I'm probably... Let me look at picks here. Maybe I need to look at something. Do we have any picks to give away? What picks I've got? I've got a pick. I can give them a second round. See if they suck the second round pick. I got three second round picks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to float it out here to see and try to get Jimmy Garoppolo. Let's see if we can submit this and see what he wants. Submit that offer. Uh oh. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, they want a better offer. Huh? Let's see if we can. If it's gonna work with that. Submit this offer. Not interested. Well, you're not. Uh, you're not gonna get my star. Okay, let's submit that. They're not interested in him, huh? Trade declined. You are not getting what you think you're going to get. They don't want that either. Let me see what I can do with another pick here.
Alright. Let's see if we can get this going. Yes! Got it! Trade offer was accepted. Because they did not want the thing. Alright. So we got Garoppolo for our quarterback. So here we go. We're going to accept that trade. And we did it. We upgraded it. We upgraded. From a C to a B minus, which is pretty good. So here we go. All right. So we upgraded the position, which is good. And what we're going to do we're look at our depth chart. Rearrange this a little bit. So we got, we got the quarterback we wanted. So that's pretty good. Immediate upgrade right there. And we're still an A- minus at the position. Though well, we made the trade, so we're going to have, um, we made the trade, and we've got Os Brock Osweiler, not Osweiler, but Garoppolo as our starting quarterback. Dazon Kaiser is going to be reduced to the third row. We're going to try to work on trying to get, um, put Garoppolo on the trade block. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do some weekly training, and then I'm gonna get back to, um, gonna get back to do some weekly training, and get back and we're gonna play the first preseason game against the Saints at home with our new quarterback, and see what what's gonna happen. So let me go and handle it this for a minute, and I'll get back with you, y'all. Uh, just hang on. I'll get back with you as I do this weekly training. That's gonna be boring, and that's gonna be hard. So. And a few. See you in a minute.